Hi, this is Michelle Sizemore, Independent Advisor with Creative Memories. On this video, you'll learn how to make these sunshines in three different ways using the Zebra Border Punch from Creative Memories and the Custom Cutting System from Creative Memories with the circle templates. And I'm going to show you a new little trick that I learned when I was at convention. And it does make things so much more simple. I have numbered my templates and the guide. So this circle, the way this works, the circles match up with the template here. And the outside line and the inside line match up with the, the black lines match up with the template. So you're going to hear me call these templates and these templates. I'm sorry, that's just what I do. But um, this circle has a number one on it. And this has a number one. And that means the black lines on the outside and the inside match this. Okay, number two is the same. The black line on the outside and the inside match this. And the same with number three. And then these different colors, red, green, blue, that just means the blades that you're going to use. There are three blades that go with this and they're red, green, and blue. It's just color coded. So I'm going to show you how I can explain which circles to use here. Basically, I use the number two circle on all of these. And let me just show you how I came up with that. Okay, this is the guide. I'll call this the guide. So this blue line that goes around right here, that means I'm gonna use number two. And I just numbered these with our Creative Memory sticker letters. So that goes here and that means I would use the blue blade on the inside. So let's do that. I'm gonna grab some orange cardstock from my Power Project folder. This is all of my scraps. And this is a good way to use a scrap about this size, I think. I'm gonna grab my mat. It goes with my custom cutting system. And remember I said to get number two circle, I need the blue blade because that's how it matches up. So here we go. I'm going on the inside track because I need a small circle. And when you first get these blades and when you store them, they're gonna be closed like that. You wanna pinch the sides. There's little little things here that, you, that are little, almost like little buttons to push. You pinch them in flip it over. Be careful not to cut yourself. Don't put your fingers on the blade and pop it in. And then you want to make sure these two little things that stick out go inside this track. They both need to be in there for this to work. And these blades are great. They rotate around with you as you go. That's a, a nice new feature of our newer blades. So that's how you get that circle. Okay. And then you use the same method to get the others. Now let me show you. Um, I said you use the number two circle on all of these. And this just goes to show how you get different size circles with the same template. So on this one, I would do the exact same thing, except I would use the red blade because this circle matches up with the red blade. So I would use this with the red blade on this yellow gold paper. And these are all just cardstock right here. These papers are from the um, Golden Harvest Collection. And this is the Golden Harvest Collection, um, my stash of it. I store my laser cut borders here, my stickers here, my papers here. And then an extra pack of those laser borders go in here because there's not really a pocket for those photo mats and journaling boxes, die cuts. So there's a pocket for everything. I'm gonna pull out these two papers right here because these are the ones that I used. And just to show you, 
which ones I use. Let's see. I use this this for the yellow, and these are from this orange paper. You can just pick the part of the orange that you like. Now I'm going to show you how to make your sun rays. It's really easy. Set all this aside. Grab my zebra border maker system, and this is just a great example of how you can use something that's intended for one thing for something completely different. So let's cut some orange zebra stripes because that's what I want for this. If I was going to do this, it would be gold and this would be that orangey paper from Golden Harvest that I showed you. So I'm going to grab a piece of orange. Yeah, I've got some strips on the back and that would be perfect to use the border maker system. I just open up this tray and pop it into place. Place my cardstock here, make sure it matches up at all of the lines. Oops. And then flip my tray back underneath and pop it into place. I've got my zebra cartridge in here. You want your paper to go here, your cardstock. Get that out of the way. And punch, and your notches are gonna match up. So that's where you know where to punch. And punch, and punch, and you would go all the way up. And this negative space that's uh, punched out is what I used for my sun rays. And I will, basically all I did, and I'll show you this. I think I could peel this up still. I just put them on the back here with tape runner and stuck them down. And then I cut a slightly smaller circle to put on top of them just to give it a little bit more stability on the back. You don't have to do that, but I felt like it was a good idea. And then you can kind of stagger them and make some a little bit taller, longer, a little bit shorter as you go around. And to, to mount these, I'll just show you, I just used my repositionable tape runner, put a little dab on the back and stuck them on the back. And that was how, that, how I made sunshines out of a zebra cartridge. Thanks for watching my video.